are preparing for um, some nasty, nasty weather. But um, what I'm going to talk about real quick is uh, a few safety tips that you should follow and keep in mind when you uh, head, out, head out onto the road um, during winter weather. You know, first thing is, is if you can avoid uh, getting out in the winter weather, don't. Don't get out in it. The best way to keep safe during uh, weather like this is to stay off the roads. If it's absolutely necessary for you to be driving in the worst conditions of what of winter weather, um, you know, make sure you're fully prepared and you have a plan that you planned out your route and let others know what your route is too. Um, the other thing is, is, you know, warm up your car before you leave your driveway, especially if it's been sitting out in the cold for any amount of time. Take time to completely clean off any snow or ice that has accumulated on your car or truck. So, uh, you know, driving in ice or snow, uh, you know, with wind uh, on your windows is dangerous uh, for you and for others on the road. You know, snow on the hood can blow into uh, uh, you know, or off you know could blow into the window behind you you know it's it's not good not it, it just reduces visibility you know or you know if it's blocking your mirrors if the snow is blocking your mirrors it's not good so make sure that all your all your windows and lights and the exterior uh, sensors on your car you know newer cars have sensors all over them let you know if there's somebody in your blind spot. Make sure they're all free of snow and ice. Remember to wear your seat belts. One, it's the law. Two, common sense. Come on, you know, uh, it's a you know requ you know dri driving or riding in a car. Uh, wear your seat belt. It'll, it could save your life. Uh, number uh, well, another another one is um, don't rely on. Um, your GPS exclusively for your directions. Know exactly where you're going to go before you even get in the vehicle. You know, one thing is, is GPS, it's a distraction as well as, it, you know, any other thing. Uh, and then, ha you know, know your route ahead of time. Uh, take in, you know, uh, not just know the route that you're going to take, but have a backup one just in case your route is, you know, not uh safe or uh has been closed or something like that uh and always check the traffic conditions before you uh head out if you can don't go alone you know don't go out on your own uh there's a sa there's safety in numbers but if you must venture out in the nasty weather you know by yourself let others know where you're going and what route you're going to be taking yeah, and when you will be expect, you know, when they may expect you to return. Uh, you know, know what the weather forecast is. You know, sometimes meteorologists don't get it right. Uh, they may be calling for, you know, a trace to one inch of snow, like they are right here. Who knows what's going to happen when the weather really kicks in? Yeah, that they, they've been wrong in the past, and I'm sure they're going to be wrong in the future. So uh, just be prepared for that. Def use defensive driving techniques watch out for patches of ice snow drifts other vehicles losing control um, you know increase your following distance between other cars ease the pressure on the uh the pedal off you know don't you don't just don't just slam on the brake or anything like that let off the gas ahead of time and coast to a stop uh, if you can slow down and if you see any emergency vehicles or disabled vehicles on the roadway move over for them uh, It's just safer Do not and I repeat do not drive distracted You know, uh, it's sad that I could go down. I could drive down the freeway I'm the only one who doesn't have my phone in my hand and I'm just looking around at these other vehicles I can see the you know when I'm driving at nighttime. I can see the glow of a screen right in front of their face it's sad or you know since i drive a truck i can look down into the vehicles that like cars and i can see that they're on their phone do not do not drive distracted um so you know going on the lines of you know 
you know, still winter weather. Phone and charger. You know, it's very, you know, why it could be very dangerous to be out there. You know, you want to make sure you have your charger with you for your phone. Keep your char, keep your phone charged up, and recharge the device as needed. Uh, save battery life on your phone in case of an emergency. Um, you know, during uh, waves of extreme cold like this that we're about to have in snow, it's important to not let the gas level on your vehicle get too low. Especially if you live out in the country where, like where I do, uh, you know, at least keep half a tank of gas. Uh, you know, and uh, just for an emergency run, if you had to, you know, leave for an emergency, you don't have to stop at the gas station. Um, let's see here. Do not use cruise, cruise control on, you know, bad weather days. Like, um, you know, when there's a possibility of ice and snow on the road, don't use the cruise control. It can, it can cause the vehicle to, uh, spin out. Uh, make room for the snow plow if you have a snow plow that's going through. Stay at least 300 feet away from the back of it. If, uh, uh, and don't try to, don't attempt to overtake them. They're going to be spreading out salt and, and mixture of uh, salts and sands out on the roadway. And you don't want to get that on your car. And some of that could be clumped up and it could sling it out and you know hit your car. So try to stay away from them and try to don't overtake them. Uh, in icy situations, intersections, bridges, ramps are more prone to ice patches than the rest of the road. You know, heed all the warning signs and, and stuff like that about the br uh, ice, uh, bridges may ice over uh, because they will. Uh, and lastly, let's talk about what you should be carrying in your vehicle. Never go out in the winter weather without a fully stocked survival kit. And being prepared for emergencies. Essential items in a motor vehicle emergency kit should include a fully stocked first aid kit. Now, I'm not talking about just band-aids. When, when I'm talking about a first aid kit, I'm talking about something that if you were getting an accident and slice your leg open, how are you going to stop the blood flow? How are you going to, you know, stop that? So get a good quality trauma first aid kit. Uh, I, I get mine from Dark Angel Medical. This is not a sponsored thing, uh, but I, I, I got two trauma kits that I carry in each vehicle. And whenever I'm, you know, out and about, I have a trauma kit that has a tourniquet with me and stuff like that. Know how to use it too, okay? Don't, don't just carry it, but know how to use it. Um, flares and reflectors, it could be a good idea if you, if you become disabled. To, uh, and I wouldn't do your flares. Flares are dangerous. Uh, they only last a, you know, a few minutes, 15, 20 minutes. Uh, but reflectors, reflectors are good. Um, you'll want to have at least three of them and, you know, them be a hundred feet apart. So 300 feet of, of, uh, reflectors, you know, is a good idea. Um, let's see here. Let's, uh, 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 an eye scraper and a snow brush. Put that in your vehicle. Have you know have those in your vehicle so you you know if, where you get to where you're going. If you need to brush off the snow, uh, more snow, you can. Um, a bag of salt or kitty litter for traction. This is a good one. Now I usually carry uh, bags of sand in the back of my truck uh, that I could just dump out if I need to, but that helps me uh, get traction on the ground. Uh, with the weight on the back of the truck, but you know, have a bag of salt or sand or kitty litter for traction. If you were to uh, find yourself in a situation to where your your vehicle just does not have any, uh, it's just slipping. You could you know spread out some of that tra uh, that kitty litter on the ground, and it will um, help you uh, gain more traction. Extra blankets, coats, hats, socks, gloves. Those are very good things to have. Throw a couple of blankets in your vehicle. It, it, it can't hurt to have those uh, in there if you were to get stranded. I'm just thinking back in, I think it was 2009, we had a major blizzard here in Oklahoma on Christmas Eve. That's right. We had a white Christmas. I think it was 2009. I think. 
anyhow, we were uh, we were leaving church and uh, the roads became unpassable. Uh, people getting stuck everywhere. It took it took a couple hours for me to get home, and I had my kids with me too. Was I prepared? No, I was not prepared for that. But we did make it home, thankfully. But if uh, you did find yourself in the situation to where you're not going to be able to make it home, you're stranded on the side of the road, having blankets to help keep warm is going to be a necessity. Uh, and throw some non-perishable foods in your vehicle. You know, what I'm talking about is just... Um, you know, some granola bars or something like that. You may be stuck in your vehicle 24 hours uh, or more. So make sure to uh, stock your vehicle with uh, some non-perishable foods. A toolkit of some sort. Have, a, you know, uh, tools for like, you know, you should have the stuff for changing your tire already in your vehicle and stuff like that. Having a good multi-tool available. That's good flashlight and extra batteries that would not be a bad idea to have you can use the flashlight to signal for help too those are just a few items that i thought i should share with you as we have this winter weather approaching us where we're going to have extremely cold temperatures so um uh, i want you all to be safe out there and uh, you know just remember to you know like this video give it a big thumbs up subscribe and ring that notification bell uh, and uh, I'll see you on the next video